Hey guys, it's Ashley, the frugal model, and today's post is how to save money on your clothes. So some of us, like me, like to shop at Forever 21 and H&M sometimes, even though I'm older and probably shouldn't, not 21 anymore. But um, you know what, there's ways to make these clothes look more expensive, and that's what I'm going to talk about right now. So um, if you're getting a coat or a jacket that you really love from one of these inexpensive places, as long as the material is really um, not one that wrinkles really easily and looks more expensive, a telltale sign of being inexpensive is usually it's buttons. So a uh, tip is to um, buy it and order buttons online that are nicer and more expensive. and um, Or you can go to a local fabric store and go to a tailor and it's really inexpensive to get them to switch out the buttons. Or like your Nana can do it for you, which I'd be really happy to do that for you. Uh, another tip, stick to simple bags. If you're buying an inexpensive purse, stick to something that doesn't have a lot of hardware. So, um, you know, just a plain, simple black bag is so much better. The telltale sign of being uh, cheap is cheap hardware that will, like, uh, crumble or fade and all that stuff. So just stick to something simple. Uh, next, always opt for faux suede um, instead of faux leather and even worse, patent leather. Uh, faux suede actually looks the least inexpensive um, out of all those. Uh, next, steam your clothes. So I bought a steamer, like a little handheld steamer from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think it was like $10. Completely worth it. Anytime I'm leaving the house and something's um, a little wrinkly, give it a steam over. That's the one way to make even expensive clothes look cheap as um, when they're all wrinkled. Um, so and that's the next thing. Fabric selection is really important. So opt for cottons, for um, tweed, for linen. Those always look more expensive uh, than like things like polyester. Um, and you know you can get these these kind of fabrics at inexpensive places. It always looks looks better. Um, Oh, this one's big. Buy a fabric shaver for your cashmere sweaters. I have given away so many cashmere sweaters because they look old and they're pilled from like wearing your purse on your shoulder or layering or whatever. When all I had to do was spend like $7 on this fabric shaver from Amazon and you can shave all that crap off and it looks brand new. And now you can save all those beautiful expensive cashmere sweaters. Um, Take items to the tailor. So if there's something that you have um, that you love but you don't wear it because it doesn't fit quite right, um, or you see something that's uh, at a store and like it's inexpensive, spend that little bit of extra money and get it tailored. Things that fit really well will always look more expensive. Um, uh, this is a good one. Uh, when you buy like a dress or a jacket uh, from someone that's inexpensive, the one telltale sign that it's cheap is that they usually use the same fabric as whatever it is to create the belt and um, and that doesn't look good. So what I would suggest is take one of your own expensive designer nice belts, uh, like a leather belt or something, and use that instead and that automatically makes it look more expensive. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd say those are probably all the best tips that I have for saving money on your clothes. So you can keep shopping at all your favorite cheap places and no one will ever know. And you can keep this our little secret.